Some might say that if our personnel go through it in SEER school, what's wrong with doing it to detainees? Well, our personnel are students, and they can call off the training at any time. SEER techniques are based on abusive tactics used by our enemies. If we use those same techniques offensively against detainees, it says to the world that they have America's stamp of approval. That puts our troops at greater risk of being abused if they're captured. Now, the guidance that was provided during this period of time, I think, will go down in history as some of the most irresponsible and short-sighted legal analysis ever provided to our nation's military and intelligence communities. I do not believe the members of the administration who played a major role in developing interrogation policies were motivated by anything other than a desire to protect our nation. The administration implemented policies that were drafted, implemented, revised, and However, if the administration adhered to the letter and spirit of the law, our treaty obligations, and adequately consulted with Congress, I do not believe we would be here today. It is important that we all understand and agree that the high ground in this war against Islamic extremism is the moral high ground. We'll, do is we'll start, I think, with uh, Lieutenant Colonel Beaver first, followed by Rear Admiral. If my legal opinion was wrong, then I regret the error very much. I am a proud professional. I feel very keenly any failure on my part to be precise and accurate in the advice I render. I freely accept sincere dissent and criticism, but there is something very important that I will never have to regret. At a time of great stress and danger, I tried to do everything in my lawful power to protect the American people. Abuse of detainees has never been, is not, and will never be the policy of this government. The policy of this government has been to uh, take these detainees and to interrogate them and get the, the information that we can get to help protect this country, which we've been very successful at doing, and we've been very successful at getting the information that has saved lives and prevented attacks on this country and on our allies. Cited legal analysis ever provided to our nation's military intelligence community. We have great respect for um, uh, for Lindsey Graham. We're not going to, uh, uh, you know, review every uh, every legal opinion that is uh, that has ever been proffered by by uh, this government. I'm telling you what the policy, what our policy has been, has been to deal with these detainees humanely, get the information up, uh, uh, from them that we can to protect this this country. And as we've been working through uh, the process with. Uh, with Congress and putting in place laws to deal with them uh, in a in a legal way. Logistics, uh, logistical support that they uh, that they need. A lot of lessons. 